Hi, it's Mark again. Um, just giving a few more um, help videos on um, Property Manager 2.0 from PropertyHawk.co.uk. The free property management software for landlords and letting agents. Okay, so staff, I'm going to show users about adding a property. So, first of all, log in and you'll come through to the welcome screen that we can see here. And on the welcome screen, there is actually a link adding a property. So a user can link, um, click on that. Or alternatively, they can go up to the management uh, tab, summary option, and click on that. And they'll see that at the top of the screen, there is a link here for adding an address. So I'm going to go that way. So add an address. Okay, it's asking me for some uh, property details. I'm going to quickly knock in 23 Not Really Street. I've already got it ready to put in Birmingham. Um, and a postcode. I'll put a made up postcode in there. And then it's asking me for an ins insurance renewal date. Now this will be added to the reminder system. And uh, landlords can set a reminder system going on either weekly or monthly emails that will be sent to you containing a whole load of um, data drawn out from your portfolio to help you manage your property better and more efficiently and not forget those awkward dates such as uh, insurance renewals and landlord safety certificates and all those things that are fuzzing around a landlord's head. So that's going to be added to the reminder system. I'll show you how to use that in another video. You can also use this area here um, for when you sell a property, um, but for now I'm adding a property, so I'm just going to click on save. And that property details should now be saved to my portfolio. And here we can see it alongside in the summary screen, alongside my other properties in my portfolio, we have 23 Not Really Street. Uh, there's no tenancies added to that, so I'll show you how to add a tenancy to a property in another video clip. But that's it for now. I hope that was useful. And um, as I say, I'll show you how to do some of the things in the other video clips. So just look through the help menu.